Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler for the Essential Oat Mastery Course, also called the Essential Organic Acid Test Mastery Course. The title of this video is what are organic acids and what is the organic acids test? What we teach in this Essential Oat Mastery Course is all about the organic acid test from Great Plains Laboratory. Uh, and I'm going to show you some reasons why I focus on this test. Uh, this is a test that I've now used in my practice for well over two decades in, um, uh, in medicine. And to me, it's a game changer, or it, it always was a game changer. And, and as I teach about this now, uh, I'm helping other practitioners um, really transform their practice. This is a transformative type of test for your practice. It'll be transformative as well in a positive way. For many of your uh, patients who come to see you because it is a tremendous amount of information uh, it's really a comprehensive profile on all things with regards to organic acids so what are organic acids well organic acids are chemical compounds that are excreted in the urine of mammals that are reflective of metabolism now some organic acids like lactic acid are normal things that we produce and then there are organic acids that can get produced by organisms that live inside our digestive system you know organic acids will always contain carbon and hydrogen but they may also contain things like oxygen or nitrogen or sulfur and phosphorus as well so there's a wide variety of organic acids and they're commonly analyzed in the urine because of through kidney filtration, organic acids in the urine are often 100 times the concentration compared to the blood. And again, they're reflective of underlying body metabolism, biochemistry, and then certainly imbalances in those areas as well. Now, Dr. Bill Shaw, who formed Great Plains Lab, um, got his work uh, many years ago looking at organic acids um, in children with inborn errors of metabolism. And he started working with individuals with autism and found that when they analyzed their urine, uh, some autistic kids found that many autistic children had very high levels of certain organic acids. When they looked at neurotypical children, they had some organic acids, but not just as not as many as the uh, autistic kids. And when they started analyzing what these chemicals were, well, they found that in large, with a lot of the autistic individuals, there was high amount of organic acids linked to yeast, including candida, as well as bacterial toxins. So what exactly is the organic acids test? Well, it's an accurate assessment of what's going on metab metabolically in the body. This test evaluates for over 70 different metabolites that can be useful to discovering underlying states of chronic illness or linked to genetic disorders, nutritional deficiencies, as well as various toxins, toxins from mold, toxins from bacteria, toxins from yeast. And the treatment impl um, implications are significant, can help people with chronic fatigue, chronic digestive problems, mental health challenges, autism, neurological disorders, etc. And the organic acid test is extremely beneficial for a wide variety of individuals, really any individual who has some type of chronic health condition can get benefit from this test. It takes some time to learn how to interpret it, but it's not impossible. And again, it'll transform your practice um, in being able to help many more people with chronic health challenges. So the organic acid is broken into sections. We've got the yeast and fungal markers under the intestinal microbial overgrowth section on page one. This looks at markers linked to aspergillus mold, candida, other yeast, even fusarium mold. The organic acid looks at things like oxalates or oxalic acid. In fact, this is a specific marker that's often not analyzed by other companies' organic acids tests. And it's hugely significant because high oxalates um, are a causative factor of many different of, of many kidney stones. They can also lead to pain in the body, fibromyalgia, joint pain, body pain, 
They also can cause mitochondrial dysfunction. The mitochondrial sections on the organic acid test are hugely significant for anybody, any child with some type of chronic health problem or even elderly individuals or people in between because these things can contribute to fatigue, they can contribute to immune system dysfunction, they can contribute to neurological problems. And many organic acids, such as lactic acid, for example, can be linked to things like mold exposure and succinic acid, which is commonly high has been strongly associated with chemical toxins. The organic acid test evaluates for different types of clostridia bacterial toxins. And these clostridia bacterial toxins are often missed again in other companies' organic acid tests. And that's a problem because if we don't get accurate assessment of clostridia toxins, we can't accurately assess for imbalances in neurotransmitter metabolites. Some of these Clostridia bacterial toxins will actually interfere with dopamine, allowing dopamine levels to rise. And that's a problem because excess dopamine in the brain and nervous system can be toxic. Quinolinic acid, for example, is often found elevated in people with chronic infections, chronic stress. And too much quinolinic acid is also a neurotoxin because quinolinic is an excitatory chemical that overstimulates the brain or nervous system that can lead to a lot of oxidative damage within a nerve cell. We can evaluate for folate metabolism linked to methylation. We can evaluate for fatty acid and uh, ketone oxidation. This particular type of pattern you see here in this individual um, very characteristic of somebody who's doing a ketogenic diet but it could also be coming from some significant digestive system problem, bacterial overgrowth, or some type of metabolic disorder like diabetes. The nutritional marker section allows us to evaluate for things like B12 deficiency, which we see happening in this particular person, or CoQ10 deficiency, a big problem, because that can also be a cause of mitochondrial dysfunction. This particular test is actually coming from an elderly individual where they're certainly highly susceptible to dementia. And a lot of times dementia can be linked to other underlying metabolic problems, including deficiencies of B12. The test allows us to evaluate for indicators of detoxification, looking at the status of glutathione Glutathione deficiencies, for example, would compromise liver function or the ability to detoxify. Ammonia excess can come many times because of bacterial problems in the gut. And then amino acid metabolites. Now this is the oldest part of any organic acid test, usually linked to what's called inborn errors in metabolism in children. But a lot of times you'll find adults who have various imbalances nutritionally or from other toxins will show many times with elevated levels of amino acid metabolites. So the, oat, the, the essential oat mastery course is teaching the fundamentals of, of the oat from Great Plains Lab because in my opinion it's the most comprehensive organic acid test available. It has the markers you need in order to connect the dots on so many levels for people with autoimmune to neurological problems to chronic gut issues, etc. Other oats, uh, organic acid tests, in my opinion, um, just miss certain markers that are the, the Great Plains test does not, uh, and that's really important. Now, I'm Dr. Kurt Waller. I've been a practicing clinician for over 20 years. I've also been involved in clinical education for Great Plains Laboratory for many years, as well as through my own academy, the Integrative Medicine Academy, which is an online training academy for, in courses in functional medicine for healthcare practitioners. I work a lot with autistic individuals, people with autoimmune problems, neurological disorders, and I've been teaching for years the implementation of the organic acid test into clinical practice. And this particular essential oat mastery course will focus on the most common markers you're gonna see in clinical practice. And the key is 
Every course we have through Integrated Medicine Academy, including this Essential Oak Mastery course, teaches you how to think critically and think clinically. This is not a course just about um, some cookie cutter protocol based on the numbers on a test. You're gonna learn how to apply the test clinically to the clinical presentation of your patient. And that's extremely important because the organic acid test is also a bridge, if you will, kind of the hub of the wheel to other types of testing that either Great Plains Laboratory provides or maybe other labs such as chemical assessment or mycotoxin assessment, which can be very important. <clears throat> also, the Essential Oat Mastery course is a precursor to my advanced Oat Mastery course, which is a very in-depth course that goes to each individual marker on the Oat at a very in-depth level, biochemical level. But you have to have the fundamentals first. And so the Essential Oat Mastery course is for people who are brand new to the Oat test from Great Plains, or perhaps you're a practitioner that just wants a refresher on Oat interpretation. This course would be absolutely appropriate for you. So more information can be obtained at EssentialOatMasteryCourse.com. If you have any questions, you can email us at EssentialOatMasteryCourse at gmail.com. Also off the website Essential Oat Mastery Course, you have access to this special report uh, as a complimentary download. And again, reach out to us if you have any questions. I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler for the Essential Oat Mastery Course. Thank you.